Hey guys, this is Holy White Fang. This is Hamster White Fang. And as always, welcome to the game. So how's everybody doing today? We're going to talk about a special topic really close to my heart, and that would be the fabled Mew. The reason why I say fabled is because the only way it's been possible to catch Mew is through special events or through glitching. Obviously, games are a little bit better than they used to be, so doing the whole long-distance trainer glitch isn't really going to be a thing anymore. At least, I don't think. We're going to talk about how I believe we are going to be able to obtain the legendary Pokemon Mew and the new remakes of Ruby and Sapphire. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. What's that in the distance? It's so far away. It looks almost like an island. Could it be? Far away island? Yeah, you obviously see where I'm going with this. I'm really terrible and stupid at puns. So anyways, yeah, I believe that there will be another Mew event at Far Away Island, just like there were in the original games. They've already talked about how they're going to release like 14 new legendaries that weren't previously eligible to be caught in these games previously. So as to why they would not stick Mew in a situation like this would be beyond me. If I had to take a chance, I would say something along the lines of a GameStop event probably just like it was before. So basically, you'll go into GameStop, they'll hand you a card with a little scratch-off code, you scratch it off and bam, then you can take the ship over to the faraway islands and go locate your Mew. I know that we're going to be able to get Deoxys soon, and I am not 100% sure how we're getting Deoxys, but we are supposed to be able to. Knowing that, I mean, I just don't see why they wouldn't include Mew in a game like this. There are a lot of people speculating that Mew is, like, bound to have a Mega Evolution. I'm just... Unless I, they've confirmed it, and I don't know it, I don't think they have, but I'm not really... I don't see it. I don't see it happening, unless it's already confirmed. Because Mew is supposed to be plain. He's like the, he's the first Pokemon, which, yeah, I guess in a way that would... I can see how people could th think and be led to assume that, oh, well, since he's the first, he should have a Mega Evolution. Well, if you think about it like this, the Mega Evolution, it's... It's exactly that. It's an evolution. It evolved. It changed over time. So Mew not even having a regular evolution, getting a mega evolution, I mean, it's a little a little far-fetched, if you will. I understand that Mewtwo did get two mega evolutions, but he wasn't the first Pokemon. That was Mew, which is also technically Arceus was like the creator, and I, I don't know, a big mess of story. So I'm not expecting a, me a mega evolution for Mew, personally. I would not be surprised to see Mew in this game. I do think it's going to happen. I do think it's going to be with the Faraway Islands. Um, I don't think it's going to be a paid DLC. Their events are normally not paid. I mean, yeah, there are some apps you can download that are paid, but in this case, I don't believe so. I think it's just going to be like Gengar, the shiny Gengar that we recently got, and the Diancie, or however you say that name, the Steel Fairy type that we also recently got before the game's release. That is my opinion on the Mew thing. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that big ol' subscribe button, give it a big ol' thumbs up, and if you want to, come check out my music. I also do some Let's Plays and stuff like that. I'll be posting some more tutorials shortly as the release of Omega Ruby and Sapphire continue to go on. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.